bro. Why aren't you waiting in the car? Right, let me introduce. This is Penny. She's my... Enough. I don't care who she is to you. Bro, bro, wait up! Penny, I... You think you can just dump me like that? Mr. Lin? Ooh, loud. That's gotta hurt. Unless you already have another woman. Otherwise, I would never walk away. Another woman? What an awkward moment to bump into him. You can't see me. Another woman. Penny! Mr. Lin! Mr. Lin, it's been a while. That's right. Here's the other woman. She is my new girlfriend. I thought Lin Jing was just grabbing a random gift. It's been an hour already. Why isn't he back yet? Is there something wrong? Mr. Lin, me? New girlfriend? Are you kidding? Penny, help me out here. I'll owe you one. Come on. So it's just acting. A favor for Mr. Lin? Why not? Yeah! I am Lin Jing's new girlfriend. You trash. I'm cursing you. Both of you, go to hell. Penny, thank you. It's okay. You're welcome. It's no big deal. Bro? Why aren't you waiting in the car? Right. Let me introduce. This is Penny. She's my... Enough. I don't care who she is to you. Bro? Bro, wait up! Penny, I gotta go. See you next time. Bro! Okay, okay. Mr. Lin? Oh no. Why Yuan's birthday gift? I'm married. You're married? Yeah! I am Lin Jing's new girlfriend. She told me that she's married. And one minute later, she's Lin Jing's girlfriend. Penny. Good. For you. Mr. Fu, why are you suddenly so mad? Did Mr. Lin mess up again? Not really. Except he fell for a married woman, that's all. Bro? Bro, what's wrong with you? Open the door and let me in. You should go home by yourself. We're not on the same way. Bro? Go. Bro? What did I do now? What a weirdo. No wonder you're single. Dad, when I get well one day, let me take care of you, okay? Wei Yuan, you are the sweetest of the entire family. Right? Sis? You're finally home. We haven't touched the food yet. Everyone's waiting for you. Here, this is my gift for you. See if you like it. Sister, I don't care about gifts. I'm happy as long as you're here. Sweetheart, for all these years, I can see how Wei Yuan treats you as her older sister. And you? What were you doing today? How could you forget your sister's birthday? Today, I went to see Fu Yancheng about the divorce. Excuse me? Divorce? You know exactly how critical it is now for our financing. We're relying heavily on the Fu's, and you're choosing to divorce Fu Yancheng now? What are you thinking? Dad, I don't understand. If our company can only survive relying on the Fu's, what's the point of that anyway? You say that again? You... Dad! Sheng Mian! Dad, are you okay? If you don't want to come home, just stay outside. Your dad's barely got any sleep lately worrying about the company. Are you trying to kill him? Dad, I'm sorry. Sweetheart, can you be more understanding? Right now, it's the most critical moment for our second financing. I'm begging you! Can you not divorce Fu Yancheng now, huh? Don't you know who Fu Yancheng is? Marrying him is the luckiest thing in your life. What the hell are you thinking? Sweetheart, please don't get a divorce. Please! Miss Sheng, please sign the divorce agreement today. Otherwise, we'll take it to court. Dad, take some rest. I'll check on you, later. What do you know? She didn't sign. If we want to crush the Shengs, it'd be easy like crushing an ant. She thinks she could play tricks. 
She must have a death wish. Yan Cheng, did you meet Sheng Mian? Has she grown even prettier now? Grandpa, take care of yourself outside. Don't worry about us. I don't need your gesture. If you actually care about me, just hurry up and get me a grandkid. Grandpa. What? You got a problem? I'm coming home next week. While I'm away, take good care of her. If I ever find out that she was not happy, you'll see what I'm made of. Dad, you're coming home next week? What? You want me to live in the hospital forever? I didn't mean that. Then it's settled. Dad? Dad! It's gotta be Sheng Mian again. She must have told on us. How could she bother the old man while he's still sick? Do these people even have a conscience? Mom, leave it alone. I will handle it. Mr. Fu? Master Fu's coming back. What about the divorce? Postpone it. Go to the legal staff. Get a new contract. As long as this wife on paper could act with me before Grandpa, the Fu's will help the Shings through their second financing. Okay, go! Bro? Bro, I booked a room at Moonlight today. Let's go have fun tonight. Ah, uh, just go this once, okay? Penny will go too. You two could get to know each other. Isn't it nice? Penny? So you planned the night for her, right? I do like her a lot. Just go for me, okay? Room number. You want me to go or not? Moonlight, Moonlight, 888. I'm gonna find out what magic you have to make all these men fall for you. Sweetheart, I'm begging you! Do not divorce Fu Yansheng now. Please! I've got no choice but to tell him who I am now. We can sit down and talk. But if he finds out that Penny is Sheng Mian, our deal will be off. What about the studio? Hello, Mr. Lin. Penny, thanks for helping out. I'm throwing a party. Come to Moonlight 88 tonight. I'll introduce you some friends who can be your future clients. Thanks, Mr. Lin. I'll seize the opportunity. Penny, you're finally here! Let me introduce. This is Penny, an up-and-coming designer in town. Fu Yan Cheng? 